Ah, uh, my friends, good morning. It's Coach Vig Vogue, but with an I. These are five essential stretches and exercises I recommend doing every single morning. They're definitely ones that I do every day for optimal mobility and flexibility and overall balance. Uh, this is my summer of 50. I turned 50 on July 28th. So these are the movements that I am making sure I do every day, not just today, but tomorrow and the day after for myself and everybody around me. I recommend doing the barefoot. They're all body weight. No weights, no machines. You can do them anywhere, anytime. Share these with somebody who you, you know needs to really loosen up, that they're tight, they're rigid. Maybe it's you. Do them with me. All right, make sure you click that like button and let's go. Beginning with number one, the spider twist series. Do them as many times as you like, as long as you like, it's up to you. Take this left leg down or left foot flat. Right leg comes in. Actually, let's switch the cap this way. What was I thinking? And we're gonna start by taking this leg back and forth. I'm gonna do all of these with you. I'll show you how to do them. Modify as needed, always use control. And then they're all yours. Side to side. Now, if you wanna progress, we have a spider stretch, which is lengthening this right leg, stretching here, get this nice long stretch, engaging the abdominals. Then we take the leg all the way over to the side into a twist, reaching this right arm out. Relax the shoulders. Remember with practice comes precision, comes success. We bring the leg back up and we have that spider stretch again, lengthen all the way down the leg. I had to go through mud to get out here. That explains the weird spots on my pants. Now take your right hand either to the outside or inside. We're gonna draw the leg out to the side, opening the hip, getting some sunlight on the groin my 90s band that I used to be in. We open for Trickster. Open to the side. And there it is, let's put it together. Stretch, long stretch, spider stretch. Again, hold these as long as you wish, they're all yours. And then twist. Chest is open, a lot of rotational movement in these exercises. To keep your back loose, to keep the blood flowing, to keep the age out of the low back and then pull out to the side. And let's balance it out. Let's do two on the other side. Right leg down, left leg up, stretch. Twist. Oh, lengthening the spine as we rotate it, as we twist it. Reach this arm out, back to the center. And there's this core engagement right here too. You're activating the abdominals, imprinting your lower back as you stretch. You draw the toes towards you also for a deeper stretch. Pull out to the side. Careful not to tumble down into the lake. Back to center, stretch. Twist. This one right here should keep us busy for a long time. It is ooh, life changing hitting all these pockets in the glutes, all these pockets of tension and tightness to balance it out. And then out to the side. The spider twist series, my friends. In the comments below when you're done, let me know which one was your favorite. Going to number two, we have big thread needle. Big threading of the needle. Come to hands and knees position, activating the shoulders, the rhomboids the middle area of the back <sighs> take this right arm reach it up big twist open open press into your left hand and then thread through oh there it is from here we rock forward and back if you like one I definitely do every day shoulder mobility movement in the middle of the back And then other side, right hand comes down. Inhale, lift this left arm up. You're gonna feel some pushback in your lats and your side, that's good. The more you practice, the more you do it with the breath, always with the breath, the looser it becomes, the more your body acclimates and adapts. Now thread through, a little bit of a diagonal to get a deeper and longer stretch on this arm. This right hand can press into the mat to bleh, to bleh. <laughs> 
to add to that twist. So you're going, you're rocking your upper body back this way. It's hard to see maybe, but that activates the movement. That sets the tone, the direction you have to go. Oh, and there's a twist. You can take the knees wider to open the hips. Let's do it one more time each side. Lift, 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 big twist. And thread. And once more, reach. Doesn't take any space. I can do all of this on the mat. But it packs a huge punch. There's that beautiful thread, the needle. All right, shake it out. We'll just keep going, follow along in real time. Garland stretch with taps. This is also called a, a squat, a sitting squat. You're gonna take the feet on a diagonal. Work your way down, you can see me. They put the cap on backwards, it's so cool. Hands here to start. Drop the shoulders, opening the hips, flexibility in the feet. If your ankles are tight, you're definitely gonna feel this squat. You're gonna have some tightness there. Now, if you like, you can come all the way down. Now, side view of this one, the garland squat. We're on a diagonal. You can always make the feet wider if it's feeling tight. You might feel tension in the flex here, as you flex upward in the ankles. So be mindful of that. You want to avoid being hunched forward. You can drop the shoulders back, lift up tall, and add some movement within this pose. Again, you're working your way up to this. Opening up the hips, the glutes, the ankles. You're getting uh, rotation if you want to take it side to side, lubricating the shins and the knees. And think of your... Um, tailbone sinking down as the crown of your head lifts up. You can also use your elbows to pry open those hips further. The garland stretch, very powerful. Hold it as long as you're comfortable with. I guarantee you start doing it every day. Every time you do it, you'll do it longer and longer, more ease. You'll sink into the pose, you breathe. Like so. Let's do one more breath here. All right, my friends, we're rolling. Shake out those legs. We got two more perfect position for the saw. The saw is a Pilates exercise. It's all about rotational strength and flexibility and flexibility in the legs and great postural reinforcement. And it was always my dad's favorite exercise. God bless him. I always like to add that. We're going to take our feet either to the edges of the mat or wider. It's up to you. Draw the toes towards you. You can bend the knees to modify. Right away, we're stretching those legs out. We're gonna take those shoulders back and down. So we're lifted tall, take the arms out. Now twisting from your center, twist to the right. See this pinky toe? There's this pinky finger. They are going to meet, and it's a match made in heaven. We're gonna exhale, hinge. Look to your back arm. So when I say hinge, we're not dropping. We're extending forward, pulling the belly button in, and we have this beautiful twist, stretching the back of the leg, adding rotation and precision. Inhale, we return back to the center. Here's the postural reinforcement. Shoulders back and down, sitting tall. Top of the head lifted, twist, and exhale. Look to the back arm. Inhale, as we rotate, 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 very precise. Pilates is about precision. There's no accidents in Pilates. There we are, a little tighter on the left side. You see we're doing both sides, always right here. Let's do one more each side of our beautiful saw. Do as many as you like. You can widen the stance, make it more challenging. Bring the legs in closer, a little less, or bend the knees. Twist and hinge. Oh. The saw. Think about if you play tennis, golf, baseball, any sort of sport like that, all that rotational freedom and strength with, with the flexibility in the legs. All right, side lunge with twist. Let's finish off with a big one. This is number five. Come into side lunge. Bring your left foot down, right leg goes out. If you need to modify, hands can come down. You can also bring this knee down if you like, like so. But we're opening, and again, we're gonna add rotation. Always rotation, opening up the back. Stay here if you like, practicing that 
side lunge. There's balance to be had right here. Hands together or arms over the head. Oh, okay. Want to add the twist. This forearm comes down right here. This is my left forearm. Well, your left forearm. And then we reach this right arm up. Oh my goodness. Make it active. Exhale down, inhale lift. So as you're opening the hips, you're adding all this nice movement into the upper body as you stabilize the lower body. Feel that in your lower back, in your shoulders, in your balance. And of course, your mind is working overtime to keep it all together because there's so many things happening at once. When you're ready, switch it to the other side. No, 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 no. There we are. And then hold here or here, or you can think, put a Camaro behind you and here's your high school photo, or bring the forearm down and lift. Inhale up, exhale down. This side's a little tighter. Let's, let's breathe into it. Inhale, exhale. Listen to your body. Find that threshold. Every movement, every exercise has a threshold. As far as your body can comfortably go, work to that threshold. The more you can tag it, the more that threshold will expand. And lift, oh my goodness. One more time. Okay, down. And that's the side lunge with the twist. All right, my friends, let's shake it out. What'd you think? Which one was your favorite? One through five. Remember, do these anywhere and anytime. <clears throat> and don't keep it a secret, share it with your friends. Uh, if these help, please click that like button. That helps get this video out to so many more people. I appreciate that. As always, subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when I post new workouts, they'll pop up. Do them barefoot. Do them anywhere, anytime. And uh, yeah, it's the summer of 50. I turned 50 on July 28th, so I'm definitely doing more and more content. If you want shorter videos and tips, and such uh, fun little behind the scenes videos. I post a lot on my Instagram page. That's at Sean Veig Fitness. Also on my Facebook fitness page at Sean Veig to, um, to keep you going, to keep myself going. It's been a great summer. I'm in Wisconsin, my favorite place ever. And I'm uh, very happy to do this journey, this voyage with all of you. So stay moving, keep practicing. And uh, as always, Coach Veig, see you around. My friends, if you want the extended version of that workout, plus access to hundreds of exclusive workouts not found on my YouTube channel, you need to try the Sean Veig Fitness app free for seven days. Cancel anytime. Click the first link in the comment section below. Try it for seven days and I guarantee you will be hooked.